In this video, I have a major update for AMC stock and guys, you definitely want to watch this video all the way through. Before I begin, if you like AMC stock, be sure to smash that like button. It only takes a few seconds and I really would appreciate it. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new so you don't miss out on future videos. Keep in mind, this is not financial advice and this video is only for entertainment purposes. Be sure to do your own due diligence and verify the information yourself as I am not a financial advisor. Now guys, I want to start this video off by announcing that Moomoo is giving away a Christmas gift of either an iPhone 13 Pro, Oculus Quest 2 VR headset, or one share of GoPro in addition to the welcome bonus of 5 free stocks worth up to $3,500 each for making a deposit of only $100 using the link down in the description. The quantities for the Christmas gift are limited so make sure you act fast if you want to take advantage of this offer. Guys, this is basically free money. What are you waiting for? Check out the link down in the description. Now let's get right into it. So let me start by sharing this trending post which is absolutely shocking and it's written by a user named peter han who is a finance professional here is what he says i hope everyone's holidays are safe and happy it's been a challenging year and a few days rest and family bonding is definitely welcome seeing some information flying around the net and think it's worth remarking on in 2021 amc's total volume was 28.7 billion the flow is only 514 million that means amc's annual volume was at least 57 times the float by comparison tesla Tesla's ratio was 7 times, Nvidia was 3.5 times, and Palantir was 7 times. In what universe is that degree of volume normal? When I noted the high volume in the spring, I made the assumption the float was underreported. I still believe that, but even if that is not the case, it is clear evidence high frequency trading on the stock is out of control, hedge fund traders are not retail, and since AMC CEO Adam Aaron has said publicly that retail owns at least 80% of the float, and retail traders have on the whole been buying and holding and buying more the majority of that float must be hedge fund trading and given the high dark pool utilization for the most of the year and especially since june it is highly likely dark pool utilization has been suppressing prices throw in the media's bias the astonishing amount of consistent ftds reported by the sec and one can only conclude there is a lot of odd things going on with amc one would hope that the dtcc sec and now doj are working to resolve this as from my perspective it feels like the size of irregular might be enough to constitute a serious systematic risk to the global market. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I think Peter brings up some great points. Keep in mind, this post was written by a stranger online, so take it with a grain of salt. Now, I predict next week, AMC could see a lot of volatility returning from the holidays, so make sure you guys are prepared. Now, guys, do me a favor and drop a comment. Let me know, do you agree with Peter Han? With that said, if you enjoyed this quick update, be sure to smash that like button. I really would appreciate it, and also be sure to subscribe if you're new so you don't miss out on future updates keep in mind this is not financial advice and this video is only for entertainment purposes you should always conduct your own due diligence prior to making any type of investment decisions